Hello and welcome. What I'd like to share with you is my version of uh, subwoofer isolation feet. I recently built a sub and was going to put some feet under it to keep the vibration of the sub from being transferred to the house, to the walls, to the pitchers, um, which causes a lot of buzzing and rattling. So I uh, went to buy some and they were so expensive I thought I don't think so so what I decided to do was try to build some the idea came to me after looking on other um, YouTube videos of different individuals using tennis balls to isolate like a drum platform you can find that video if you want to see that but um, they were using tennis balls to support a lot of weight so I thought well maybe we could rig up something to support just a subwoofer enclosure. So to do this, what you'll need is just some PVC two inch pipe caps. Um, you need a ratchet, a 9 16 socket. You'll need the number of uh, 3 8 bolts as feet you're going to have. My particular subwoofer is going to have four feet. I've got one completed. Um, you want some Loctite to make sure that whenever you put the bolts and nuts together inside of the PVC caps uh, they stay that way. Uh, you'll need a drill with a 5 16 bit and you need some paint and in my case it's some flat black. Also since the paint is going to be on the tennis balls and touching the floor I would strongly recommend getting some caster cups like these to put under the feet between the feet and the floor because the paint will probably transfer to the floor if it sets for a while. So here you can see one of the completed feet. It's going to have um, threads in the wood in the bottom of the box and you can just thread this in. You can also use it to adjust the height. If you have a really really heavy subwoofer box then you might need six or maybe eight total instead of just four. I'll find out. I've got a heavy box, so we'll see. But if you drill a 5 16 hole in wood, then that's the perfect size to thread in. You can force it in by hand, but you can uh, cut the threads using the bolt to go whatever you're going to go into. Um, but that way when it's threaded all the way down you can adjust it back out a little bit if you need to and that will cut threads right in the wood so there you go that's my version of subwoofer feet um, haven't seen anything like it on YouTube yet give it a try let me know if you got any feedback on it thanks for stopping by okay I thought I'd show how one of the subwoofer feet went together before I assemble all of them I also discovered that with the weight of the subwoofer on the first foot that I made the tennis ball seemed to sit really low in the cup so what I decided to do was just take a paper towel and put it in first before the tennis ball goes in and then it'll push the tennis ball further out so it don't set so deep and therefore the lip of the 2 inch PVC won't touch the floor so what you'll need to do to get these things together is get some Loctite, get it on the bolt, and I cheated. I threaded mine with a 3 8 tap. So I got threads cut in the cap as well, which is something you should probably do So there the Loctite has got the, the bolt secured, put a lock nut on it so it can't get away. Okay, when that sets up, that'll be solid because you use the whole 
two inch PVC cap that threaded in and out of the, the bottom of the box or whatever you're trying to isolate. In my case, it's a subwoofer box. You just have to get the paper towel in there, a little square, and then at that point, okay, that's ready for paint. That one's ready for paint. That one's ready for paint. And that one's been painted. So there you go. You can see if you watched the previous video. The tennis ball sticks up quite a bit further. So there you go. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you learned something. Give me feedback down below. Thumbs up if you like it. If you don't, let me know why. Talk to you later. One thing I'd like to add is if you thread the subwoofer foot into a piece of wood, it makes it a lot easier to paint. You can just kind of roll it around and paint it and then unthread it and screw it into the bottom of the box. As you can see, uh, these are going to need a few more coats of black on the tennis ball because it's still still wet, but uh, it's still green. So when it uh, dries out a little more, I'll put another coat on it.